Surprise! The Fed reports. What do you think they did? What's up, everyone? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Daily Update. And of course, the Fed just reported about three minutes ago. And of course, what did they do? They did absolutely nothing. It's like war. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. What's the Fed good for? Absolutely nothing. Okay. They came out with their usual BS statements talking about they're going to focus on growth and they're going to focus on this. In the meantime, I have one question to ask. If the markets, if, if the labor markets are, are in demand for help and wages are rising, why is the Fed sitting still? What are they waiting for? Oh, they're watching the stock market. I forgot that was one of their new mandates that was put in the day after 1913 when they decided to, be, to, to bring in the Federal Reserve. Uh, again, it, it's comical, and it, of course, it's, it's, it's very political. It's very much about the markets. It has nothing to do with monetary policy because they refuse to reduce their balance sheet. So basically, for four trillion, four and a half trillion dollars, we got nothing. In the meantime, the markets like it, which surprise, okay, and you can see the markets, the, the S&P spiked up about eight to nine points as soon as the news came out. Uh, something interesting happening today, uh, the Dow is ex much stronger than the S&P, and the Russell is the weakest. NASDAQ is very strong as well with Apple's earnings. You've got Facebook after the close today. You've got Microsoft. You've got Tesla. So you've got a lot of things that can drive these markets, okay? But the one thing we're really missing here, the lack is volume. So without volume, I don't get real excited. Again, our numbers are still long. We're not, we're not getting out. We're not shorting this market yet. We will look, we will, we will call this a market still 2,600 to 2,700. That I think is the numbers. Now we did see almost 55 in crude oil, which is now sold off. It's trading now about 54 and a half. Uh, but again, that's our sell target on crude oil. Bonds are a little bit lower, meaning interest rates are trying to rise a little bit, but you're seeing a, a real flattening. I think the yield curve is going to invert, which will create most likely another recession. Uh, the grains are kind of mixed. Uh, and again, this cold weather around the country is not helping producers uh, because, again, obviously it cuts off demand. OK, you know, people aren't out shopping yet, so it takes away from the demand. But the meats are pretty much flat. So the whole complex, grains and livestock, are relatively flat on both sides of unchanged. And I still believe that those are the spots we want to be buyers into. We want to find the right levels to get in. And I think you'll have some good, good entries to get in. My one concern still remains the hog market, which is still right there at the bottom. Uh, it, the action has been okay this week after it broke down last week. So we'll kind of see. But basically, we want to be long the entire protein and grain complex as we look for it. Gold is, is softly settling right here. Uh, it's been higher. It's been a little bit lower. But it's, again, it looks really good. I think 1300 I wouldn't be surprised to see a pullback to 1300 in the gold market. Um, everything else seems to be you know, doing its own thing. The cryptocurrencies are a tad higher, but they're just hovering down around these levels here. The key here is to watch the movement today. Okay, if we start to pick up some volume, okay, if the VIX starts to pick up and the Russell gets weak, because at one time today, although all the markets were much higher, the Russell was actually down on the day. So if the VIX starts to rise and the Russell's going down, that would signify to me that it'd be an okay to take a stab from the short side, and I'd look, to be, I'd, be, I'd look to be a seller. But for now, I'm long, I'm staying long, and I see no reason to, to, to change anything in order to try to predict how the markets are going to react. You've got the Fed, you've got the, uh, the, the, the uh, no, you got, you got Chair Powell speaking, okay, at 2.30. So let's see what he has to say. The market should ramp and rock and roll after what he says. I expect to see two or three moves. The last move will be the move we get to expect. But again, I, I, we're 2,600, 2,700 S&P. I'm not going to get involved. I'm staying with my numbers, which say that we should stay long. We're staying long. That's the way I see it. This is Bubba's Daily Update, Todd Bubba Horowitz talking about the Fed doing nothing in the meantime. Starting on Monday, to get the, up, the daily update, there will be a charge. If you'd like to get the daily update video-wise, you just go to bubbatrading.com forward slash video. Okay, and that, that we're offering a special there for uh, $4.99. And if you want the SMS texting, okay, which I add, which you can add in, okay, you go to bubbatrading.com SMS. If you want a combo of both, you go to uh, bubbatrading.com forward slash video SMS. And you can be part of the team and continue to get the updates. In the meantime, have a great day, everybody. We'll see you back here tomorrow. And remember, Bubba's bottom line on Sundays is always free.
We'll see you tomorrow with more of Bubba's Daily Update. Have a great trade, everybody. We'll see you later.